All right, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Editing a little bit of a fight scene here, and we're gonna be. Uh, we last episode we went through the ripple and rolling edit uh, functions in Premiere, and this time we're gonna be going under the slip and slide. So this is a ripple and rolling edit functions right here. You have ripple and roll. If you hold down your mouse on this, click and hold down your mouse, it will expand this menu. And here we have the slip and slide tool. The shortcuts are really uh, easy and convenient. They're right on the keyboard next to each other. For these ones, they're Y and U for the slip tool and slide tool. So if I'm on my regular arrow key, which is the letter V, uh, which selects your regular selection tool, you can see. Now if I hit the letter Y, notice what, what happens here. Y, it does the slip tool. Now I have the slip tool. And then you want the slide tool, you hold, the, uh, you click the, the letter U, and U turns it to the slide tool. So let's show the difference between these. I'm going to hit Y and go to my slip tool. These are kind of like the ripple and roll, but these are these are not as commonly used. They're used once in a while. I, I, um, I, I do find myself using this once in a great while to change the timing on a clip here. Uh, but what this does here, the slip tool is a little confusing. Actually, let's go through the slide tool first, because that'll be maybe a little easier to understand after understanding what the slide, what the, the slide tool does. The slide tool will grab a clips in and out points. This clip right here, if I grab that, it will grab this clips in and out point. And as you drag it with left or the right, like this, what you're doing is you get a whole bunch of different frames up here. Okay, so we've got four frames here once we grab this and, and activate the, the slide tool here. What you've got is you've got uh, the out point to the left hand, the bottom left hand window here is the out point to the left. And the frame to the bottom right here is the in point to the right. On top here, the left and hand, left hand and right hand thumbnails are the the left and right hand frames uh, are the ones that are, belong to this clip that I have grabbed. This one that I've grabbed here in the middle right here that I'm moving. Uh, notice it is not changing that clip. The clip that I've grabbed it will not change its in point and out point. It's retaining this clip's in point and out point. But as you grab it and drag it, this is ripple editing basically, and uh, it's changing. It is shrinking the clip to the left, uh, its out point, and extending the clip's in point to the right here. So it's basically stretching these clips out to compensate for the movement on this timeline. So if I grab this and shift it over here a little bit, it changed the pacing of my editing here. Uh, let's actually look through that before here. So here's the edit that I have. No sound effects yet. This is just this, this fight scene where, where the, the lady gets elbowed, and she headbutts. So basically what this is doing, as I hit the uh, U key for this, the 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 slide tool, it slides this clip up and down the timeline without changing its in or out points while compensating on the other ends here. So if I grab this here, let's watch through this right, right now. This will kind of mismatch some things, but we've got a headbutt, no sound effects yet, and a punch here, punch in the face. Uh, but So I'm going to grab this here, drag it to the left, and what it is doing is uh, sliding this down the timeline. So as I let go, it has now kept this maintained that clip's in and out points here. Now you see it kind of happened twice, but that, that's what it does. It, it shrunk this clip's uh, out point while extending this clip's in point. If I do it the opposite direction, it'll do the opposite. It'll stretch this clip's out point, leaving this in and out point the same, and shrinking this clip's in point. A little confusing, but that's that's basically what it does. But, um, now uh, let's go through the slide here. The slide, what that does, is kind of an opposite of what we're doing here. Uh, the slide tool, which is Y on my um, uh, for my shortcut there to select that tool, it's gonna it's going to change this clip's in and out points simultaneously while leaving this clip alone and this clip alone. So it's basically slipping it behind these clips in and out points here. Where slide, you're actually sliding this up and down the timeline. So watch this. This basically slips it behind the edits here. So now what this is doing, uh, the top left hand corner frame shows my clip to the left out point, which is staying the same, static. It's not moving. The clip to the right, it's it's in, that that is its end point, and is not changing. So now what's got, what we got with the time code windows here on the bottom left hand side and the bottom right hand side are the clip that I grabbed. It's end points and out points. Notice it is changing uh, the end point and out point. It's slipping it basically behind those edits there, and we're changing that clip's end points and out points, and you let go without changing uh, these adjacent clips uh, end points and out points. Without affecting this uh, this adjacent clip's out point or this adjacent clip's end point here. So, like I said, not as commonly used, but sometimes that will help uh, just slightly match a file. If you've dropped a file and you got the continuity match, but you just want to slightly change the timing, you can grab this and just slip it a little bit to the left or to the right and change the clip's timing. Uh, and there you go, and let go of that. So that just basically basically made this clip's end point a little bit tighter. And we got a little bit of a repeat there on the end, but sometimes this can be used to match, sometimes it can be used to change the pacing of the timing, the pacing of the, of the clip. So the slip and slide tool, another tool that you have in your editing uh, repertoire here. So, 
Uh, like I said, not as commonly used as the ripple and roll edit, which I use all the time, and I use this just once in a while to change the timing just to slip this behind or to slide it down the timeline a little bit. So well, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know.